Greetings YouTube! If you've been asking me how many times have I refreshed the Hulkbuster update beta server today, I would have said at least 50. I felt like it was back in the day in the 90s when I was calling like the radio station trying to get tickets to the local concert and you had to be X amount of caller. And every time you called, it was busy. Uh, weird analogy maybe, but I'm in. At least for the moment. And so this is what it looks like. And most importantly... They have this Hulkbuster beta resources. Now, five-star Hulkbuster. Who needs this guy? You know why? Because we're going to do one better, YouTube. Even though I have, seriously, had the best luck when it comes to six-star crystals. I, do I not have? Oh. I guess we do have to do it because it's got the beta by it. Dang. You know what? I guess we can compare, but I'm telling you, I was so excited to be able to take up to rank two this guy. But I guess you have to do the beta version, which makes sense, but I'm bitter. I am very, very bitter. Okay, so we got the Awakening Gem. Man, if only life worked like this. This reminds me... Growing up, there was this um, this thing on Nickelodeon that Toys R Us, R.I.P., used to do. And that was, uh, I guess I should get all 100. <laughs> uh, so Toys R Us used to do this thing where you, uh, rank down tickets. What a weird way to, there we go. Yeah, we just want the rank up gyms. We don't want the rank down tickets. Um, but this does give us a chance to maybe play around with some other champions. Um, so Toys R Us used to do this thing on Nickelodeon where you had like three minutes and you could run around the store and grab tags of everything. And it was a shopping spree, right? It was a shopping spree for anything you wanted in the store. So... I feel like the beta server is kind of like that. Only growing up, you could actually, I guess, other than maybe taxes, get all of that stuff. And now in this, the server, it's like whose line is it anyway? The points don't matter. And the, uh, the upgrades really don't matter. I'm so bummed. I've been talking to my subscribers all day, excited to, to test out my six star. Again, maybe I'll do... A, um, a video comparing the beta to the old OG Hulkbuster. But, man, what a letdown. Senior prom all over again. All right, here we go. Now we can start getting into the class ISO. Classy. And I know several of you have contacted me that you still can't get in. Just keep refreshing it. Make sure if you're on your iPhone that Game Center is turned off. I was not allowed to get into my first ever beta test. This was over a year ago because I had Game Center on and nobody ever told me. So I just thought it was my, my old phone. And then I realized the whole time I could have got in because of Game Center. Now this is what I've been worried about where you start to upgrade the champion and then you get some massive server issue that kicks you out. And this could indeed be the case for a uh, for me but I'm hoping it's not the case when you record this in real time you just have to be uh, at the mercy of the server and what's really interesting is before this I claimed the ISO and had no issue whatsoever so it's not like it's doing this every time you claim a batch of ISO like you would see even on the normal server but uh, we'll see all we can do is uh, stay patient and if it kicks me off it kicks me off but um, I am so bummed I can't take my six star up. Ha <laughs> ha! What do you know? What do you know? It kicked me off. See, I got in for a second and then it kicked me out. Let's go back. And if it doesn't work and it kicks me out, I'll just be able to say, I got in for like five minutes and... And then I didn't.
but at least you saw what it looked like to be the hundredth caller in the Hulkbuster server. I I want to play with my six star so bad. I just feel like it was destiny. Oh, we're back. Okay, there we go. All right, we're gonna try this one more time, and then if uh, it still doesn't work, well, I guess we'll throw it online. But um, Hulk Buster B. So this is also a warning, kids. You can crash the server if you grab too much ISO at once. Crazy times we're living in. Crazy times. If this kicks me out, I'm just going to throw my hands up. I'm using 7,500 ISO. This should not crash the server. Come on. Come on, Kabam. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Don't make me rage quit by kicking me out. I'm using... 8,000 ISO to take him to rank three. Come on, baby. I feel like I'm talking to a dying car. Okay, here we go. I'm getting nervous. Just, just using ISO. That should not be the case. Also, when smart select doesn't work, you gotta, you gotta reselect it. Pro tip. All right. So far, so good. Now we're going back into the mysterious jungle that is claiming ISO and all the apparent server hazards this could cause. Who would have thought? I guess I'm not spending my credit card enough to have the server anticipate its most preferred behavior. But claiming ISO that's expired? No. It's too crazy. It's too crazy. YouTube, if this kicks me out a second time, I am going to just off video, take as long as I can to rank up Hulkbuster, and then we'll do a little six star, five star comparison. Probably take on the man who certainly during a pandemic needs better health care than ever, Realm of Legends Winter Soldier, among other things. But uh, if you don't want to get kicked out of the beta, I guess you just don't want to claim too much ISO. That's the lesson that we have learned from today in one of the most frustrating videos I've ever recorded in Marvel Contest of Champions. Oh, too kind. Speaking of the devil, he shall appear. I, you don't want to do gameplay until you can get him to 565, but at the same time, if you know the beta takes three years to get him there, see, that, that was smooth. That was no problem whatsoever. Okay, well, we're getting closer. I feel like I have to pray to RNGesus every time I press any button in the beta. I have been in probably six or seven betas. I've never seen this amount of lag. It really does remind me of growing up with those uh, phone calls into the local radio station. I hope that Hulkbuster's prestige also increases because... His PI is total trash. Okay, that's that's going smooth. I don't want to jinx us, but we could be on path to actually taking him to rank five. Okay, love that. All right, whew, one more. Don't do this to me, YouTube. Don't, okay. You know we've, when we pump the six stones into him, it's going to be madness, just absolute madness. I think Hulkbuster has been nicknamed a bee, as in something that makes you itch. And so it's very uh, ironic that the beta has the bee by its name. I'm sure that happens for any champion beta. But, man. Okay. All right. This should be it. We should be good. Until we have to pump six stones into him and then it's going to kick us out again. All right. We're going to go to our Hulkbuster beta. We're going to use items. We're going to use our new tech gem. We're going to use more items. We're going to use all 100. Now, this thing always takes forever for the normal server, so I can't imagine how long it's going to take in the beta to pump some six stones in. But we're going to try to get him to six 200 because that is uh, that's what we can do, right? I mean, for nothing. 
but part of me also is getting really anxious because uh, okay there we go Looks like this video is already longer than I had intended okay so we're gonna go store at least you get to see the beta right you get to see for those of you who really want to uh, to have access to the next beta and you're wondering what it looks like you'll get to see the highs and the lows okay so you can see Hulkbusters um, PI is still not amazing all right once it confirms we've got sig 200 status i have pressed confirm i promise you and there we go the server in the bottom right is uh okay Whew. now without further ado even though it's probably going to crash let's just do special quests and because we always like to test them over anything okay who needs this normal team of losers when you've got Hulk Buster B? Okay, so let's put him on here. And then who are his synergies? Okay, Yellow Jacket, sure. Hulk, why not? Mr. Fantastic, that's fantastic. And then we got Critical Rating or Health. Let's definitely do Critical Rating. And let's go Corvus because we can flex that. Okay. So, we're going to begin quest. Not sure why that was so surprising. I know that there's other things we can take him to, but this is like the standard test, right? Although, why did I just jump into Labyrinth? Okay, um, let's just check out his, his info real quick. The Veronica Kit. 100% chance to activate a self-repair buff lasting 12 seconds and removing 14,814 health. This buff is lost if Hulkbuster is stunned. Attack rating... Giant Buster, okay, Inner Giant Buster mode, granted the following one, fighting and as an attacker. Inner Giant Buster mode gains 614 attack rating based on how large the opponent is. Okay. You know what? Screw it. Everybody else is going to do Realm of Legends. Let's just, let's just see what happens. Let's just, let's just see what happens. All right, Star Lord. Your size is not great, but we're gonna fight you anyway. We're not gonna do Winter Soldier. We're gonna see if Prof has any skills. I'm Giant Buster, everybody. Sounds like something that would get you kicked out of a club if you walk in, telling everybody you're Giant Buster. All right, I feel like no one's gonna really care about the attacks. It's gonna be about the specials, right? Come on. You know you want to fire that special too. Do it. There we go. Okay. All right. Normal attacks. I want to do a special too. I just want to see what it looks like. Okay. Armor break, power lock. A lot of power lock. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, the Hulkbuster special three is what I care about most. Even the old version. I used to just build power and then fire it off. That was my thing. Okay, we're building some specials. Mm-hmm. Look at me, taking down 4% of Labyrinth Star-Lord's health. Okay, we're going to fire off that special th 3 and see if there's any improvement. All right, before this would do like f maybe 30,000 damage. Huh. Speaking of 30,000, it did 30,000 damage. Now, it applied shock, and look at those crits. Wow. Okay. Okay. I had a fury buff on there as well. That was fun. You know, did some damage. By the way, if you're hearing me, uh, the shock damage was awesome. I was literally shocked. Okay, so that is an interesting starting fight. Let's do Winter Soldier just to compare and then in the video. And I apologize. I know sometimes people are like, Prof, I actually like it when you do longer videos, but you know my policy. When in doubt, five minutes or less. Uh, but in this case, it's just it's just important to, to do what the beta lets you do. All right. 
Winter has come in the form of a soldier, and that is who we are ending this video on right now. Lord knows it's going to take three years to upload to YouTube. <laughs> but hey, if you're watching this, that means that it succeeded in uploading, even if it took an hour. Okay. So really, based off of just casual play, it's all about pushing that special three and then seeing what the shock damage does. That's what I'm going to do. So, let's try it. Getting that special three. Love that he can't use a special three. Okay, bait the heavy with the heavy. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the special three. Start at 93% health. Takes him down to 87, so that did 6%. The 30,000. And then, oh, I've got an unblockable. Okay, that unblockable is awesome. I love that part of it. I don't know why I missed that the first time. What a noob. Uh, I've applied the shock. It looks like it's doing 218 per tick. That ain't bad. But it kind of reminds me of like Aegon for a moment there that when you go unblockable on the combo, I need to do that one more time and see if I can make it last longer. Bait the heavy. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this thing. Oh, you've got the perfect bonus. All right, let's see if the unblockable comes back. It did. It did. And I tried to intercept, and I love how it got wrecked. But you know that shock damage? There are so few champions that have shock immunity that that as a defender is going to be a pain. When you get that shock damage and it stacks, you're going to lose a lot of health quickly. Obviously, you don't want to rank somebody up just to be a defender. And so in terms of like how much fun this actually is, as an attacker, kind of mid-tier fun. Maybe if I could take up my six star, it'd be more fun. All right, unblockable. Yeah, unblockable. But you think about this compared to like some of my favorite Realm of Legends options, like Hy uh, Hyperion, for example, or Blade, or of course like Ghost, or even Star Lord. Not really, not really my fave. Let's do a special too. Okay, got the unblockable, but not for long. In fact, the unblockable was just for the special too. Well, I'm not saying that I don't see an improvement, but it kind of reminds me of the attacker difference on the improvement of Old Man Logan, where, yeah, there's some improvement, but it's not substantial enough to have me think, wow, I really want to rank this guy up. Now, of course, I could be discovering some better synergies or using him better, and that comes with time. But in general, he's just I, you know, just somebody who's who's fun, but also uh, a bit frustrating. I, I was hoping that there would be more damage, and I was hoping that there would even be maybe some revamped specials or something that just made me excited to take him up. Now, even with the synergies, again, maybe I'm just not using him to his best capacity. That's always. Uh, an option or, or a chance that that's true. But for now, I just, I'm just i going to want to know what you think. I think as a defender, he's probably going to be better, especially with that shock damage, but I don't do Alliance War, so screw ranking up people just to be defenders. Have a good day, YouTube. Thanks for watching my uh, slow progress in the beta that eventually resulted in a 565 SIG 200 Hulk Buster B.